Welcome to Seymour's World Commentary. Have you ever heard the expression, do it now? One day you will wake up and there won't be any more time to do the things you've always wanted to do. Many of us put our happiness and dreams on hold for another day, when the truth is, life is happening right now. If you want to make positive changes, today is the day. Want to know where to begin? We all need to create a vision for our lives. Get clear on your purpose, what drives you, and what you desire for your love life, relationships, career, finances, lifestyle, well-being, and personal growth. Here are some ideas. I believe, number one, that we should all meditate daily. Your investment of a few minutes of meditation daily will come back to you tenfold in the form of increased insight, inner peace, creativity, and compassion. Try to listen to your heart and intuition. Your heart is the key to your life purpose, and it will provide you with wisdom and guidance that your thinking mind cannot comprehend. Try something new in your life. Don't live the same year after year and call it a life. Try a new route, a new coffee shop, walking trail, hobby, activity, city or career. We all need to make time for joy and pleasure. Write a list of all the things that make you come alive and do them weekly. The whole world will benefit from your light and joy. Take your attention away from the circling thoughts and worries in your head and connect with the sounds, the sights, the smells, the textures and the beauty of life surrounding you. Gratitude is magic. It makes what you have enough and attracts more goodness into your life. We are blessed to be alive. Believe me, I know this for a fact. Do you go after your dreams? Give things a go. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You are more likely to regret not trying than trying. What is life for if not for living fully? We are heavily influenced by those around us. So surround yourself with dreamers, doers, believers, thinkers, and those who bring out your greatness. We have to love and accept ourselves. When you improve your relationship with yourself and practice self-love, your other relationships and your life will improve naturally. Everything starts to work. Do you sometimes repeat the same mistakes? I know I do. Give thanks for everything wonderful that happened and acknowledge what isn't working so well so you can fix it instead of repeating the same patterns. Small wins build your confidence and build you up to have more success. Look for more ways to celebrate yourself and your loved ones. Get in touch with your essence, your inner being, the part of you that exists beyond your thoughts, emotions, titles, roles, and labels. We have to let go of the past. It's not happening here and now, it's only in your mind. When you continue to relive the past, you rob yourself of the peace, the beauty, and the opportunity available to you in the present moment. Here is my guilty sin. I need to simplify my life. If you are feeling overwhelmed, track what you do in a typical week and see what you can remove. Perhaps too much television? Worrying, or how about social media scrolling? That's not serving your highest good. Do you value your happiness? We are so quick to give away our happiness over trivial matters or things outside of our control when it is one of the most valuable things we possess. Now it's time to do it for yourself. Thank you for watching Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. Send me your comments. Aloha.